Hey everybody, it's Tiny Unicorn. So I recently went to my very first hot wife and cuckold event at Oasis. Now, I have to Google this even five seconds ago because I didn't want to get it wrong for you. So let me define. By definition, and this is by the way, according to the Oasis Aqua Lounge uh, event, right? Um, by definition, a hot wife is a married woman who is allowed to and encouraged by her husband to pursue sexual relationships with other individuals. Cuckolding is the act in which a man or woman enjoys watching their partner having sex with another person. So these are pretty simplified definitions and you'll find other definitions online that can vary a little bit in certain ways. But this was my first ever event going where the theme was hot wife, basically. And I saw things I had never seen at Oasis and I was surprised and I actually had like the, the surprise face a few times in the night and I thought, I gotta make a video about this so people know. So I don't claim to be an expert on this topic. Clearly I was there for my first event as well, but I got to meet a lot of people. I got to see what was going on upstairs in the sex places and, uh, and here I am to report back. So uh, here's what I learned, first of all. I learned that it's a popular uh, trend or I guess kink or whatever is this hot wife thing. I met a lot of single, not sorry, sing, I, I met a lot of women who were there to be with men that were, appeared single, but they were not single. And for the most part, one of their husbands drops them off and then picks them up later. I had a whole conversation with this woman about it. Another one, the husband I hung out with in the pool while his wife was upstairs taking whoever man, whatever man she wanted. So it was quite fascinating because I got to talk to the guy in the pool and say, so don't you want to go watch like your wife's up there having sex? And he's like, he's like, yeah, I might go peek or peek in. And so we did. We actually went upstairs and peeked in. But he made the point of letting me know to not let her know that he was there. And it's part of their dynamic that she's allowed and encouraged to go off and do whatever she wants and then while he's like hanging out socializing somewhere else and it doesn't matter to him if he sees it or not and then they go home together and have a wonderful life like it, it's just that's their thing so he was one good example uh, of, of me learning about that lifestyle and and then there was a beautiful goddess looking woman outside on the smoking patio that I met and she was there she was beautiful earrings dress everything she was dropped off by her husband to have sex with other men or whatever and then he'd pick her up and what was fascinating to me is she told me that this she doesn't even want to do this it is for her husband her husband wants her to be dropped off and go and do this she's like i don't know why i'm here so basically i talked to her for a few minutes and i said well what you could just make this a social thing like you don't have to come and have sex with other men and she's like yeah like that's what i'm doing she's like but i don't do this for me she's like i'm not you know i'm kind of waiting to get picked up she's like he just does this for his for his kink. And I'm like, wow, it's so fascinating because so many people have all these ideas about hot wifing and oh, it's, you know, whatever. And it's, there's so many different flavors of it. So that was two examples. Uh, there's a few other people I know in the lifestyle who identify as a hot wife. And these are people who participate in DTF, uh, usually in Bukkake. And it's usually like their husbands are either off to the side or they're not at all. But they definitely like go home and have like a relationship, relationship with, their, with their husbands or boyfriends or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, I think it is women who basically have a complete sexual autonomy to, to do whatever they want. And then have that relationship and husband to go home to and and still carry that on so if you are a woman out there especially who uh has that sense of needing a lot of variety of d you know in your life whether you get married or not maybe the hot wife is a good good thing for you to google and get more information about um, the cuckolding thing, there's a little bit of the, there's a little bit of difference of opinion on whether it's like a, a humiliation thing or whether it's not, I don't think cuckolding by definition is like includes humiliation because just because you're not included and when somebody is having sex with somebody else, it doesn't mean you're excluded and it doesn't mean it's in a humiliation. So for example, uh, sometimes I take my friends to a club and, and, and encourage them to have sex with my other friends in front of me, even if I'm not included. Now, I don't think that's humiliation humiliating I don't think so I think it's like for me specifically I get a lot of a joy out of it because I'm like a director so I get to like direct the scene um but that's what I mean it doesn't just mean you know just because you're not involved necessarily it doesn't mean you're humiliated sometimes you're you're beaming with pride so uh yeah so anyways that was my video I had such a wonderful time learning about this the fact that I met women who were there for their husband's needs to have them fuck other men was something that doesn't surprise me but I was surprised with that I found that really quickly, that there were women there who were there to excite their men by doing this, not because they wanted to just fuck other men. So do without what you will, but uh, stay tuned for more videos.
So if you're a hot wife or you're interested in being a hot wife, I actually sell merch on my uh, tinyunicorn.com website, as well as a new swinger uh, merch line that I'm, I'm launching on a different website. Stay tuned for details for that. But I have actual merchandise that says hot wife or like hot wife in training, um, things like that. So if you actually want to check out what merchandise I offer or even pick up something for maybe your wife, uh, you know, people on the street won't necessarily know what it is if they're not swingers, but, uh, you'll get some some nods and, and some smiles, I can guarantee it.